So I've been taking NMN, not to be confused with M&Ms, every day now for about six months. Let's see, I started back in the end of August. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Okay, so a little more than six months. And today I wanna to share with you my experience. So the first thing I noticed was, whoa, more energy. Right away when I first started taking it, my energy level just went up really high. So much so that I was worried that, uh, you know, am I gonna be able to sleep? Fortunately, I was able to sleep just fine. And now what I, I would describe it as, I'm awake during the day and I sleep at night and it's awesome. Now, a lot of this is gonna sound very similar to a video I made at the 60 day mark. I had been taking NMN for 60 days. I made a video about my experience at that point. So this is kind of gonna recap some of those things and then also give a more current update since I've been taking it for a little bit longer. So about the energy. I did notice that once it kind of, the initial jump, it did sort of level off a little bit. And what I like about it is that it's not like caffeine, it's not like an energy drink, it's not like a buzz. It's just like a, a feeling of being awake, of being alert, and that has been consistent. So I can say for the last six months, it's been very consistent. I believe very strongly that the NMN has definitely made a difference. So much so, when we, when we talk about energy drinks or caffeine, I've had one caffeinated beverage, one caffeinated drink for the last six months. And there have been days, yes, that I've been a little more tired. I thought, mm, maybe I'll drink some, but that, that feeling just goes away and I don't need to. So that's kind of a significant thing. I'm very happy with not being on caffeine. I'm very happy with the mild but persistent energy levels that I've had through taking NMN over the last six months. The next thing that I noticed was improvements in my skin. Look, like I. <laughs> I got a bunch of wrinkles, I got all these spots, I got this big old brown spot. My skin is not great, but the one thing that sort of bothered me was I had this thing on the side of my face right there, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bit of a mark still, and it would, it was like a dry patch of skin and it was like a scab. And it, I would reach up there and feel it and it would be annoying, and so I'd pick it off and then it would grow back, you know, like a little gremlin it would grow back and then I would pick it off again and then it would grow back. And I mentioned this in the other video. Well, I can say now, you know, several months later, it still has not grown back. I started taking NMN, picked it off one day. One day actually it was just hanging there, picked it off and it has not come back. Now that thing was there for years and it's it would grow back consistently and now it's completely gone. Yeah, I can go, it's, there's still a little bit of a mark there, but it has not grown back. I know, <laughs> I said this before, right? I need to go to the dermatologist. I'm terrible about going to doctors. It's just, ah, it's so much time. You gotta make the appointment, you gotta go. You know, it's just a hassle. I know I need to go. I've been procrastinating. I'm definitely gonna do it. But with regard to NMM, it's hard for me to think of any other reason what, what changed, what would have changed that to, to have that benefit. I definitely think it's a benefit. The next thing I noticed was strength and recovery, an increase in strength and recovery. And at the time, I started doing pull-ups, working on pull-ups because a rock climbing gym opened near my house. I used to do a lot of rock climbing, so I thought, I'm gonna work on my upper body strength, and particularly, you know, pull-ups. And I'd been working on pull-ups, I started taking the NMN, and then just a little while later, all of a sudden I was able to increase my max pull-ups. I went from 22 being the most I could possibly do up to 26 within a few weeks. And I that was pretty amazing. So much so I was kind of shocked, questioning, is this really happening? Unfortunately, I haven't been really consistent. There was a couple of weeks or so that I just wasn't feeling well, so I didn't exercise. So my max pull-ups has gone back down to 23. So it sounds like, oh, it, it, you've gone backwards. Well, I'm just giving you a report of what's been going on. Overall, what I've noticed is my strength has been increasing overall across the board in all the exercises that I've been doing that I've been consistent with. And that should happen, right? If you're being consistent, you have a good diet, your strength should improve. I just feel like it's a little bit more. I just feel like it's just, there's a little bit extra. It's definitely not, if you're thinking of NMN like steroids, it's definitely not like steroids. You're like, my, my uh, little pea shooter arms, right? Mm, 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 mm. You know, definitely not steroids, but I am, I'm feeling stronger. And I do think the NMN is playing a role. It's a big picture thing, right? It's not like this magical, you know, pill or magical potion that's suddenly gonna make you the, the Hulk or Mr. Olympia or something like that. But a little bit of an extra, you know, increase in strength, I'll take it. 
I definitely believe the NMN is helping. The other thing I noticed was increase in endurance. And that was a little bit more significant. At the time when I started taking it, I was at the height of my training, getting ready to go to the Grand Canyon to do rim to rim to rim. And here I was, I'm training every single week. And I noticed that I, my endurance did improve. And at the time I was thinking, well, I increased the electrolytes. I, you know, there was a, something I changed. Both of them definitely played a role, but I cannot say that NMN did not help. I know for a fact that it has helped, even if it's just a little bit. Now, since that time, I've drastically reduced my training because I've been taking a break. I'm starting to ramp that training back up. And one thing I noticed was that my VO2 max has not gone down. My resting heart rate has remained fairly low, even though my training volume has decreased significantly. Maybe it's just that I'm doing enough to maintain my fitness, and maybe that's, maybe that's the case. But two things. I noticed at the height of my training, when I was the best shape that I was in all last year, I noticed a, just a slight improvement. And now, as I have had a drastically reduced training schedule, I still feel pretty darn good. And I think the Anaman is playing a role. Finally, the other thing that I mentioned uh, a few months ago was that my sister was saying that, whoa, you look younger. You know, people around me are saying, hey, you look a little bit younger. You know, I look in the mirror and some days I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're looking younger. And other days I'm looking in the mirror like, oh man, all I can see are the wrinkles. You're looking really old. <sighs> I don't know what to think. I'm not here to try to prove anything, really. Those are some things that I have noticed. That one's a little bit more subjective. I'm gonna leave it at that. So all of this is leading up for me. Well, NMN, it's making a difference. It's making enough of a difference for me to say, it's definitely worth it, and I am going to keep taking it. Now, you might be asking, well, what, what brand have you been taking? When I first started taking NMN, the very first one that I went with, or the first brand that I went with was Pro Health Longevity. They're a great company. They've been around for many, many years. Their NMN is third-party tested. It's produced in a GMP certified facility. And so it's manufactured to very high standard. It actually is NMN. And I was very happy with them. They're a great company. After about three months, I switched to a company called Do Not Age. They're located in the UK. They're a health research organization. Their NMN is also produced in a GMP manufactured facility. It's produced to ISO 9001 standards and it is third party tested. So they say it's NMN, it's third party tested to verify it is actually NMN. And so they make a very high quality product, but it's also a little bit more affordable. And that was one of the main reasons I switched. And I've gotten to know a few people over there at Do Not Age and I really like the company. I like what they're doing, what they're trying to do. I think they're awesome. So they're my go-to. Now you might be asking now, okay, so you've told me which ones you've been taking, but when do you take it and how much do you take? So when I started off, I was taking 500 milligrams each day in the morning on an empty stomach. And I thought I was taking one gram. And I was getting good benefits just from taking 500 milligrams. From what I understand, most people are taking somewhere between 500 milligrams and one gram. Some people are taking 250 milligrams and seeing good results. So that gives you an idea in terms of dose. My thought would be, you know, if I was gonna recommend anything, if you're gonna decide to take NMN, I would suggest start, starting with a smaller dose, maybe 250 milligrams, see what happens, see if there makes a difference difference, you don't feel anything or see anything, increase that dose gradually. I am right now at one gram per day. Again, I take it in the mornings on an empty stomach. I have taken it under the tongue and I do feel like, uh, you know, that's a good way to do it. Most of the time I just put in water, mix it up, drink it down and I'm good to go. So if you're taking NMN or you're thinking about taking NMN, there are some other things you may wanna consider taking along with it. One of those is TMG. And I talk about that in this video right over here.